southern Texas, Alma Beach, waiting for the arrival of Hurricane Carla. Winds right now are about 50 miles per hour and quickly increasing as the storm approaches. The storm originated in the southwestern Caribbean as a tropical storm on September 5th, 1961. And the next day became a hurricane. It is now up to category five because it didn't hit any land masses on its way to the western gulf despite having a relatively high pressure of 936 millibars it is still a category 5 with 175 mile per hour winds hurricane carla slightly touched the coast of mexico and is now heading our way towards port o'connor it is expected to go down to a category 4 once it hits the coast with estimated winds around 140 miles per hour <laughs> and a minimum central pressure of 9 35 millibars. It looks like coming up here. We'll go back to the hour. It started in the southwestern Caribbean and making its way through Texas and the east coast. Today, Carla has almost completely dissipated after 14 days. And here's a timeline. The damage caused was $408 million, death toll hitting 46. As you can see from the photos taken, this indeed was an intense hurricane. though shortly before it hit Texas, it became Category 4. The damage done is still very intense. Back to you, Rick. And you can't spray the camera, dude! It's my camera. Yeah, but she told me to do it high. It's not that high. It's hard to do the hose. Well, then somebody else take the hose. She doesn't want us to. I don't care what she wants. This is my project. Yeah. I don't care. Then do it right or else you're fired. <laughs> what if it's 